Hello and welcome to another video. On this video, I'm going to be showing you a project uh, regarding Shopify um, web applications. As you can see, I have a playlist with so far seven videos. Uh, each one will teach you a different thing, how to do different things to get started with your application. But if you're in a hurry and you know the basics and you want to put it all together in one whole download, uh, I made a GitHub project here that you can download really easily or very fast and the project is ready to go so you don't have to waste a lot of time. I'll leave the download or the link for this project on the description so you don't have to worry about it. I'll just type it in there and you can copy and paste it. So to get started all you need to do is once you get into the GitHub page uh, you can take a look at if you feel comfortable with Git, then you can use this to clone it. Uh, obviously, you need to be a partner, Shopify partner. And there's some few things that you need to set up for security. Um, I, I do not include like the ID, the secret ID in the web config. So what you need to do is after you download the file, uh, you don't want to deal with git just click here on download download the zip and that's what I did for this video I just downloaded the zip uh, it's so simple so after you download it you're gonna unzip it and before you even click run make sure you have uh, a config file in this case I'm having my config file in my C drive and this folder can be anything so my app can be anything you can name whatever you want just for this demo just name it my app and the app config needs to be like this the name can be anything again that can be anything and then the folder name can be anything and also the the drive can can be anything cd whatever you have but this file has to end with that config um, the web config on your project is going to combine what you have included in here. It's going to merge both together. So as you can see here, this is your regular web config file. Usually the MVC projects have this keys in it already. Um, as you can see, the only thing I'm doing here is adding this uh, value to the app settings. So you're saying app settings go grab or go merge whatever settings I have in this file which is in this case it can be anywhere like I said right now I have it as app settings but above here the example has app my app so it doesn't really matter where it is but make sure it's somewhere that you have access to so when you click and debug and run your program uh, it's gonna merge this uh, values and why am I doing this because uh, you don't wanna submit your code anywhere and have your your app secrets or database usernames and password in the web config. That's the reason why I did all this work. So it's pretty simple. And then what contents the that the config file you need to add? It's pretty simple. All you need to do is copy and paste this guy. And there you add it already has the app key, app IDs, the secret, the scope for your program, the domain uh, that controller domain in this case I just made a Shopify form uh, when people install it they're gonna be calling that controller name or that that controller and your domain where they're going to and what permissions you want uh, the secret and the ID it's pretty easy so so far you can authenticate first with Shopify you're gonna send a customer to install it Verify that it's coming from Shopify, request a token, create a charge, and send a customer to accept or decline the charge. If they accept the charge, then you can activate it. If you don't activate it, you're not going to get uh, paid for your app. So make sure you finalize or you, end, you need to activate it basically. And then once they, it's activated, then you can send a customer to your app, whatever you're doing. So I'm going to open up, um, I'm going to download a file and pause the video and open it, open it up with Visio Studio. 
So now to continue, I have opened up the the project. Uh, before you even try, make sure you go to web config, open it up, and as you can see, there's it's pointing to this location. So that's what I did. I just created a folder under that location. As you can see here, using I'm using Not Notepad plus plus, and I have C drive, my app settings slash app that config, and all I did was copy and paste uh, the instructions here. Copy this guy into your web config. Uh, where it go? Oh, it's right here. And then all you need to do is replace this, obviously, and the secret, the scope, and your domain. Uh, if you don't have a real domain, just use your local host and make sure you're using the uh, tunnel for your local host, the secure tunnels. Now, to f if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just look at the first first videos it will help you out uh, first part one and part two will help you understand what I mean about the secure tunnels to your from the public to your local host so make sure you watch those videos uh, if you don't have a real domain because you need to uh, forward uh, the public uh, request to your local host in this case because we're testing so make sure you do that watch the videos and then this project will make more sense to you. Now, once you have that done, um, that's pretty much it. Once you filled out the app.config file, you'll be ready to go. And just to give you a quick look, this is the Shopify uh, controller I was talking about. And this project has more things than the video, the series part one and two and three, uh, especially because on this case, uh, on this specific line of code line 41 to line 45 uh, the playlist doesn't have this section but I I thought it was a good thing to add it for security reasons as you can see here we have security check one which I haven't done here uh, but security two I gave you an example because the top one is pretty simple but on the security check two um, is checking it like I made a note here uh, Shopify wants you to check for valid host name so it needs to end with myshopify.com and does not contain characters other than letters numbers dots and hyphens so I have a function here called a lot host name so once Shopify comes back with this is the shop then you'll check it here and in the code if you if you go F12 uh, you'll find it, which in this case is a static class that I have here. And as you can see, the web config with the amp.config plays really well because, as you can see here, it will pull all your data, all your things that you need out of that file. I uh, also am using the trial days, you can add it there too. Uh, in the web config, maybe you want to add it back here, but you can also add it down here. On this, I don't have it, but it's really easy to implement it. So, for example, trial days, the price, the name. Let's, for example, do the name so you know what I'm talking about here. So, all you need to do is copy this guy. Just make another one. And then we're going to be looking for name. That's the key. So, we're going to replace this with name and then what's your app name so I will say my app name something okay that's how you add those and you want to add like I have here the price like how much does it cost so if you run it right now once it gets to that point it will fail whoops but I'm gonna show you just real quick how to basically fix this price and then you just can say something you know 7.99 something like that and then you can do the rest trial days and then you can keep adding many things that you want here so I was gonna do trial days and then how many days you want to allow it and I'll just say four or three and then 
the last one I have here is test test and since we're testing we're gonna say true remember this flag once you go live this needs to say to false because if not when it goes to charge it's not gonna actually charge the customer so this is how you add the rest of the values here as you can see here I had all the way to line 24 I didn't have name price trial days test and all I didn't have it in my file here but as you can see this is really easy to add it back here it's quick so this will give you a good idea to keep your things uh, quick and easy to to manage it because once you go here into the files allow host you can just do real quick this uh, rec regex expression and then you can start going and then you don't have to look oh, on none of this but that's just a helper for the things we need to do and then the next thing if it's allowed then we'll continue to security check number three and then here's another function that will or method that will check will take the query string and validate it against uh, your secret key and Shopify uh, HMAC value basically compare those and it's on the same class and then as before um, here in this example I'm just using a, a static file like I said here this is for demo only obviously you want to save your token in the uh, real database so don't do this don't use a text file to save your tokens uh, this is just to test it and obviously if you have one store this is going to work but obviously you actually need to pass the shop and then you will save your token for that and so on and so on but this is just for testing don't do this in, in a production uh, app and the same code this same code is the same thing on the on the playlist so go ahead and try it out uh, there's other things here but uh, once it's charged as you can see how just let you know real quick uh, here I'm just grabbing that token again and I'm going in okay we're gonna check if they accept it so if they accept it then we can go ahead and go to the uh, your program if they didn't accept it maybe they fail they click decline they will go to an error page decline or something else happened to it so as you can see accepted this is what's going to happen here as like i told you before um, previously in this video activated you need to do this activation if you don't do it your app will be always be free so be careful and make sure this does actually work and well that's it for this video uh, let me know if you have any questions the key part about this is the app settings once you download it remember add this make a file under under anywhere you want to put it up and make sure you copy and paste the values and add these values to it you must do that if you don't do it the app will fail because it's gonna tell you I don't have this key or this key or this one or this one okay so have any questions like I said leave me a comment and subscribe thank you for watching